Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video, I'm going to tell you about Motic REST API. So uh, let me define what is REST API first of all. So REST API is basically an API interface which lets you to use Motic objects and lets you to manipulate Motic objects. So basically there is no UI involved. So you will not find any user interface, but only the API interface. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, if you have not subscribed, so you should subscribe because with this, I'm starting a series on the Motic REST API, which will go on and explain all of the options which are available in the REST API. And, and uh, I will explain how you can use REST API in your favor to uh, perform some of the operations which are not possible without the API. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, I am right now on the uh, dashboard and uh, right now I'm using the Motic 4.4.1. And uh, if you have been following me, you should know that uh, Motic REST API has been, uh, you know, there, there were uh, actually three ways to authenticate with the REST API and now there are only two ways left. So uh, let me show you those two ways first. So if I go to configurations and if I go to uh, um, API settings in the configurations, you will see that there are two options. Uh, one is enable HTTP basic auth and other one is about the tokens. So tokens are used for uh, uh, OAuth authentication. And uh, if I go in the settings and go to API credentials, you will notice that there is only one option available, which is OAuth2. So usually they, there was uh, one more option which was called OAuth 1A. So if I go in the REST API documentation and if I go in uh, like scroll little bit down, you will find that there is one more option which is mentioned which is OAuth 1A. But this option has been discontinued with the Motic version 4 and uh, now we are only left with the Motic OAuth 2. OAuth 2 is a more secured version and uh, it is a good reason to discontinue OAuth 1A. It is not widely used anymore and uh, OAuth 2 is more than sufficient. Uh, nowadays, if you uh, follow some of the options like, you know, login with Twitter, login with Facebook, login with Google, all of them are using OAuth 2. So Motic has taken a good decision to use OAuth 2. Okay, so uh, this is the basic about the uh, API. And uh, next, let's just uh, go and see what are the options available with Motic. First of all, if you don't see this option of if API credentials, what you need to do is you need to go to configurations and uh, in the configurations, you need to go to API settings. And if your API uh, enabled is set to no, then you need to make this to set to yes. Uh, when you set it to yes, uh, your API will be enabled. And uh, if you set uh, the HTTP basic auth to yes, then you will be able to use the HTTP basic option with Motic API also. So in this video, uh, my target is only to uh, make you aware about what are the type of APIs and uh, how you can use them. So uh, let me explain what is the meaning of HTTP basic auth and what is the meaning of OAuth2. Okay, so first of all, let's go to the basic one. And uh, if I go to the uh, documentation and if I go to the basic authentication, they are telling you how you can use the basic authentication for uh, calling of Motic API. And if you see, the documentation is still referring to the Motic 2.3.0 while Motic is currently running on 4.4.1, which is the latest version of Motic as of now. So, um, if I go back to the basic authentication, so basic authentication, what you can do is you can use your username and your password to authenticate with the Motic. So in the header, you need to pass the authorization code and you can obtain this authorization code uh, using your username and password. Uh, if you use the username and password and you encode them using the uh, base64 encoding. So let's uh, go and uh, try this out. So I'm going and uh, using the Natan. Uh, Natan is another platform and I am soon releasing another video to uh, uh, tell you how you can use Natan to boost your Motic productivity. And uh, if you want to know that, you should subscribe to the video now. And uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's just go on and uh, see how the 
HTTP basic works. I'm going to use HTTP node. So here, as you can see, there is an option for HTTP node. And in the authentication, I'm going to use uh, generic tag. And here, I'm going to choose basic. And credentials, in the credentials, they are asking for uh, some credentials. So I'm going to go and create new. In the new, I am going to use the username which I'm using for my uh, Motic and then I need to use password. Okay, so uh, let me pass the password. Okay, so I have passed my username and password. I will uh, give it a name. Let me call it Motic HTTP Basic. Save it. One more thing that you need to know about your Motic authentication is that. Uh, the URL that you are going to use is the same URL which you are using for your Motic. Okay, so uh, if I'm in my Motic, I will just copy this URL. Okay, I'm just copying it here. And apart from this, I'm going to add the extension which is API. So API tells the Motic that you want to access the API and not the user interface. And from the user documentation, I will go in the contacts and uh, let's say I want to say li list contacts. So in the list contacts, it says that you just need to pass this one. I will copy it, paste it here. Let me do this extra forward slash and execute node. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have got some data on the output and uh, you can see that i have used the basic auth and in the basic auth what i have done is i have used my username and password and if i go to the documentation again uh, and see about how you know uh, this username and password thing works so in the authorization basic auth you can see that the username and password is working as you need to pass your username you need to pass your password separated by a colon and if you base encode it on the 64 encoding what you will get is a unique uh, id or unique uh, credential which you can use in the header of your request and Nathan is taking care of all of this for me so i'm i don't have to uh, you know do a lot on this uh, this part but at the end i'm able to uh, use the Motic api so uh, here the getaway is that you need to the motic base url is your url of the motic you don't need to do much on this part and then you need to pass another uh, parameter which is like um, the next parameter is like you need to append the api part and after that this is your complete base url uh, including your base url of the motic and api included after that, whatever you need to pass is the endpoint of the Motic REST API, which you can get easily from the developer documentation of the Motic. You get all the documentation, and uh, even though it is old documentation from Motic 2.3.0, you will get all the information that you need to access the API. So if I go to, uh, let's say, contacts, and uh, in the contact, they are selling me. If I want to get individual contact, what I need to pass is contacts slash id of the contact but if i want to get a list of contact i need to pass just the contacts so this is the one which i have used in my native and i'm getting the list of all the contacts that i have so as you can see here so this is like um if i click here let me go to the json part so in the json you can see the total number of contacts which we have in our motic as 56,000 and uh, something and uh, some of them I'm getting so if I just close this uh, node I will see that I have 30 keys so these 30 keys represent the 30 contacts which I have received as a part of the list of the contacts and uh, uh, this is in the format of the ID of the contact and uh, the object with all the information about it so if I just keep closing this you will see that we have ID object ID object and ID object so this is how it is uh, done. Um, there is one more interesting information about the REST APIs that uh, initially when the REST APIs uh, came into the power, before that uh, almost all the information was transferred using the XML format. But nowadays this is used 
uh, in the format of JSON. JSON is like JavaScript object notation and uh, this is uh, done in the format of how you represent a JavaScript object. So this is a key and this is the value. So on the left side you get a key and it is separated by a column and the, on the right side you get a value. So this is how the JavaScript objects work and uh, they are enclosed by this uh, curly braces and if you are going for the array array of this uh, javascript object uh, then you go in the uh, bracket notation so as you can see uh, this is only one item but inside one items there are multiple um, items and if i just close the context you will see that you what we are getting here is total of uh, how many number of uh, total objects we have in Mautic and how many uh, number of objects we get in the context. So this is again uh, like an array but this is uh, presented in a way of object in the form of key and value pair. So this is the key which is the ID of the object and this is actual object that you see here. So uh, guys this is how the Mautic, Mautic REST API is working with a basic HTTP auth if you have any questions or queries you can write them down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching